Today we discuss about convergent sequence. Convergent sequence we write it write definition first a sequence in a matrix space S is a function x into x. Then we write convergent x as xn and this one convergent means a sequence a sequence x xn okay or we write x a in this way a converges to x converges to x belongs to x then if given epsilon if given epsilon greater than zero zero if given epsilon greater than zero there exists n belongs to capital n such that such that such that for all n belongs for all n greater than equal to n d of x n x less than epsilon okay or or other way x n belongs to d x epsilon Then we write it, then we write it x equal to limit 10 tending to infinity x n. Okay. Or, or in this way, x converges to x. So, so just this one, you probably write x1, x2, x3 this point x a then here x and all x4 x5 dot 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 x in i contain this wall okay. then we write it this one is a convergent sequence now any subsequence of a convergent sequence converges to the limit of the given sequence we prove it now just it is this portion convergent sequence okay now now we write how we prove this problem any subsequence any subsequence any subsequence of a convergent sequence of a convergent sequence of a convergent sequence converges to the limit of the given sequence converges to the limit of the given sequence Okay. Just any subsequence converts to the limit of a given sequence. Then, then for epsilon greater than zero, such that x and b a sequence sequence converges to x converges to x. That means x n belongs to b x comma x okay. for all n greater than n but n belongs to that's not then then we construct some subsequence speak n1 less than n2 less than n3 dot 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 n k then so x n k x n k be the subsequence b the subsequence of x n be the subsequence of x n 
then x and k belongs to b x epsilon for all n k greater than equal to n n belongs to b. this implies that this implies that any subsequence any subsequence of a convergent sequence any subsequence of the convergent sequence converges to the converges to the limit x what the limit of given sequence next next we proceed the limit of a sequence in a matrix space is unique in a matrix space limit of a sequence is unique this one happen in just house drop space okay so we prove this one now just write in lemma's form the limit of a sequence of a matrix space is unique the limit of a sequence in a matrix space b unique Okay, how we write it? If a sequence, if a sequence x in x, if a sequence x in x converges to converges to x and y, x and y. That means that means x n tending to x and x n tending to y. Then we have to show show x y. Yeah. How it can be possible? Just we write if x if x not equal to y. Then, then delta d x y difference between x and y obviously greater than zero, and we choose r. We choose r less than equal to. We choose r less than equal to delta y two, and consider consider the xr and byr considered bxr and byr bxr and byr okay two ball then for r greater than 0 we claim we claim that that BXR intersection BYR equal to pi and they are disjoint. Okay, if this one is possible, or if Z belongs to this one, BXR intersection BYR, then, then delta less than equal delta equal to DXY difference between x and y less than equal to dxz plus d o z y less than equal to r plus r less than equal to delta okay this contradict so so since x n converts to x then there exists n1 such that 
x n belongs to b x x r for all n greater than equal to n and similarly there exist n two such that if x if x n if x n tending to y if x n tending to y there exist n two such that x n belongs to b y r for all n greater than equal to n. Okay. Then, then for all n greater than equal to maximum of n1 and 2 such that such that x n belongs to b x r intersection b y r. Okay, this contradict the fact that this ball are fixed on. This contradict because we construct this ball are disjoint because x not equal to y then we find a delta difference between these two and r less than half this difference is half. So we find two disjoint ball but here we can't find this so so this limit r not equal that means that means we conclude that x equal to y so x equal to y and obviously t x y equal to 0 Next, we proceed. Next, we proceed another problem. That means this one is not, this problem is not satisfied or not hold in any arbitrary topological space. This problem is hold in a house drop space. House drop space, this one is hold. How we define house drop space? We define it house drop space definition. Okay. A topological space X is house drop if a topological space is we house drop. If for any pair of distinct points, if for any pair of distinct points, if for any pair of distinct points, x y belongs to x x y belongs to x we can find open set we can find open sets we can find open sets u belongs to x and p belongs to y such that such that u intersection p equal to y okay so so this one is called this topological space is called house drop now we write another problem a sequence xn in a matrix space x converges to x if and only if a sequence a sequence xn a sequence x in in a matrix space in a matrix space in a matrix space x converges to 
converges to x belongs to x converges to x belongs to x if and only if and only if the sequence the sequence dxn x converges to zero now let let x let let x k let x in k okay let x in k be a subsequence conversion to x then let x n k be a subsequence be a subsequence converges subsequence of x n converges to x then for epsilon greater than 0 n belongs to n d of x in x less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n then in k if if n k greater than equal to k if n k greater than equal to k k or greater than equal to n then then this subsequence x n k a less than epsilon or all n k greater than equal to n okay that means n k greater than equal to n then this one happen so so a subsequence that means one sequence d so this sequence so this sequence d x and x converges to converges to zero well, because d x and k as d x and k x also converges to zero now now we proceed further it is this person right here right here two point one Point seven. Okay. Let x k equal to. Let x k equal to x k one x k dot 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 x k n belongs to R n. Then x k converges to x. Then xk then xk converges to x converges to x x equal to x1 x2 dot 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 xn if and only if if and only xk i going to xi as k tending to infinity for each i okay then we write then we write how we do it just just x j x less than equal to x that means if 
x k i if x k i tends to x i x i as k tends to infinity or j i or j i then 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 x k one or k i k one k two but 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 x k n converges to x one as k tends to infinity or k greater than equal to n n belongs to n or is i this implies that x k is and obviously reverse as k greater than equal to now x k greater than implies this this implies this then we get this one okay. then next next we construct another problem this one is where is this portion now Now we develop this one for x k converges to x and then this one hold for norm of x tends to norm of x tends tends to norm of x k that means Question is x k x k belongs to R n x k belongs to R n converges to x belongs to R n x belongs to R n then we have to show that we have to show that we have to show that norm of x k converges to norm of x okay we know about that norm of x k minus norm of x less than x k difference x okay so so we see that if x k converges to this then this one is less than epsilon or k greater than equal to n n belongs to natural number this implies that norm of x k tends to norm of x okay now proceed for and now proceed for this converse is true or not converse is true or not the converse is false when n equal to 1 converse converse is false when n equal to 1 okay n equal to 1 then this one is not true this converse is not true always now now we're going to next questions about this if 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 x in converges to x and y n converges to y in r n r n then 
then x n plus y n then x n plus y n converges to x plus y okay and and x n y n converges to x y how we proceed it We just tried it. We just tried it in this way. D of x in plus y in difference x plus y equal to norm of x y in. Okay. Norm of x in y in minus x plus y equal to norm of x in x plus y in y less than equal to norm of x in minus x plus norm of y in minus y equal to d of x in x plus d of y in y okay now this implies that this implies that this is less than epsilon by 2 epsilon by 2 since x and 10 is x then d of x and x less than epsilon by 2 and y and 10 into y d of y and y less than epsilon by 2 or epsilon by 2 then this one equal to epsilon so x n plus y n now next we discuss about that this one how we proceed this one okay. x in y n difference x y equal to we write it in this way x in y n difference x y n plus x y n difference x y this equal to x in difference x y n plus x y n minus one this implies that this implies that this implies that zero y n and x zero so this one equal to zero this mod of this mod of this mod of this this zero this implies that x in y in can be x okay now we proceed further now we proceed further but today we stop here